everyone this is Bhargav Suthar and today we will talk about rings so in this today's session we will uh, discuss about what is a ring and we will discuss some of the examples okay so first let us understand what is a ring so suppose R is a non-empty set equipped with two binary operations that are called uh, addition and multiplication and it is denoted by this plus symbol and dot symbol respectively okay then the algebraic structure this r plus and dot is known as a ring if the following axioms are satisfied axioms or postulates okay now see uh, we have here two uh, binary operations instead of one so that is plus and dot uh, both are there so the first one r plus is an abelian group so now we know that how to check whether a group it is an abelian group or what is the definition of an abelian group so for abelian group we need to check the first one the closure property so as we know this uh, that is for every a b belongs to r a plus b uh, belongs to r then the second one associative property uh, this is also known then the third one existence of identity element for plus so that is for every a belongs to r there exists zero belongs to r such that this a plus zero equals to a that is equals to zero plus a so that is the existence of identity then next that is zero is known as additive identity okay now fifth one existence of inverse so for every a belongs to r there exists negative of a such that that addition is the identity element so it is the inverse element so minus a is known as the additive inverse of a then the second condition second axiom is r dot is a semi group now for semi group we need to check the closure property uh, it is obvious then we need to check the associative property like this and the third one multiplication uh, this dot distributes over addition from left and also from right so for example for every a b c belongs to r this needs to be there so that means a dot b plus c equals to a dot b plus a dot c and in same manner a plus b dot c equals to a dot c plus b dot c so that means this dot uh, this dot it is distributes or it distributes over addition from left uh, from left as well as from the right for example this i plus dot it is a ring so for ring uh, the first step this r plus has to be a abelian group then i uh, then r dot has to be what a semi group and the third this multiplication uh, distributes over addition so i plus dot it is a ring why because it is uh, i plus is an abelian group then i dot it is a semi group and the third one this multiplication distributes over addition and you can check it by yourself uh, this type of examples we have done in previous sessions for abelian uh, group and semi group right so for example 2 dot 3 plus 4 equals 2 dot 3 plus 2 dot 4 and in same manner 3 plus 5 dot 2 equals 2 what 3 dot 2 plus 5 dot 2 fine and q plus dot it is also a ring r plus dot it is also a ring and same manner c plus dot it is also a ring so these are the examples of ring Okay. now let us discuss what is a commutative ring so the ring r plus dot it is said to be a commutative ring if for every a b belongs to r uh, this a, a dot b equals to b dot a simple so for example i plus dot it is a commutative ring now what is a ring with unity so ring r plus dot it is known as a ring with unity if for every a belongs to r there exists this one belongs to the set r such that this a dot 1 equals to a equals to 1 dot a so then we can say that it is a ring with the unity and for example this i plus dot it is a ring with unity and what is a commutative ring with unity so obviously uh, the combination of both so that means ring r plus dot it is a commutative ring with unity if what the first condition for commutativity for every a b belongs to r a dot b equals to b dot a and uh, same for every a belongs to r there exists one belongs to r such that this a dot 1 equals to a equals to 1 dot a so it will be commutative as well as it has the unity fine now let us discuss example so the question is set m capital m of 2 cross 2 matrices where entries of the matrices are what real numbers 
from a ring with unity with respect to addition and multiplication of uh, matrices so it forms a ring with unity with respect to addition and multiplication so the first step so what we'll do let a and b belongs to m set of matrices then what this a plus b if we take their addition of two matrices then also this a dot b uh, both are uh, belongs to m so m is close with respect to addition and multiplication of matrices fine now uh, for a b c belongs to m then this a plus b plus c equals to a plus b plus c if we change the brackets then it won't change right the answers won't change and in same manner for multiplication so hence this addition and multiplication are associative on m then existence of identity for addition so there exists this zero matrix they belo it belongs to m such that this a plus zero equals to a equals to zero plus a so zero matrix it is what the identity matrix and uh, there exists one zero zero one equals to i so the identity matrix such that this a dot i equals to a equals to i dot a so it is identity for multiplication so i is multiplicative identity for m fine now existence of additive inverse so for every a belongs to m there exists p belongs to m such that uh, this a plus b equals to what uh, the zero matrix equals to b plus a so what we can conclude so it has the additive inverse fine now commutative property for addition so for every a belongs to m we know that if, uh, a plus b equals to b plus a that is same right now distributive loss so for every a b c belongs to m this a dot b plus c equals to a dot b plus a dot c and in same manner uh, if we change the position of c then it will be a dot c plus b dot c so hence we can say that this m plus dot it is a ring with unity fine now just try it yourself show that the set uh, 0 1 2 3 4 it is a ring with respect to addition and multiplication mod 5 thank you